How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Boy Lie Hobby Time. I was looking at my little western town here, I guess these two buildings, and I decided it was time to expand it with building number three. Started with this block of wood. This is going to be the base. It is not as wide as the previous two buildings, but it is going to be the same depth. I measured out and cut some lines on some cardboard. This is going to make up the main structure of the building. I used styrofoam for the past two builds and I had this piece of cardboard lying around so I thought I'd use that instead. The exterior of the building is going to be covered with this balsa wood. It's nice because it's in a big large sheet so it covers a large area at one time but it doesn't have any of those panel lines that you get from the little strips. So I went back in afterwards and added those manually. I went back and added some vertical lines to help break up those panels as well as some little nail holes. After that I scuffed up the whole thing with a wire brush to help pronounce the grain a little bit better. I then hot glued those panels to the side of the box, it kind of felt like I was raising a little barn. I did the same thing for the back. And then it was time to move on to the front. I drew a line to mark the center of the wall, and then I started planning out the door and the windows. I wanted this to be a high security bank for the day, so decided to not have any windows at street level. Balsa wood is pretty fun to work with. It is pretty fragile though, so I broke it a few times, but it glues back together really easily. And after I had those windows cut out, I used some plastic canvas to create some iron bars to go in all of the windows. Then I glued the front to the box, completing all of the side walls, and I filled in all of those windows with the plastic canvas. Then I glued the box down to the base, and I moved on to making the little boardwalk. I added a spacer so that all of the planks would sit off the ground. Then cut a little strip of balsa wood into the planks that would be the board walk. I split each of those in half and I glued them all down. Also added a little step right in the middle. I wanted the roof to be corrugated so I peeled some paper off of this cardboard. It was pretty stubborn paper. It took a long while to peel off. Once I had a large enough area that was free from the paper, I cut it down to size and I glued it on the roof. Then it was time to add some trim. I really enjoy this process. Just a few simple additions take it from a box to a building very quickly. Adding a few little panels here and there, giving things to create shadows and to catch the light, adds a lot of depth to an otherwise flat surface. Then I made some double doors, I glued those in place, and that was the main building done. After that, it was time to add some greeblies. I wanted this bank to be well equipped for defense, given the world that it exists in. So I added a little piece of metal mesh in front of the door. The 
quick idea behind that was that maybe the bank teller could electrify it if the town was getting attacked and he needed a quick way to defend the, the bank. I had a little spot on top of the building for some antennas and I ran some guitar string cords and cables to connect that to the power box on the front. Like all of the elements in this world, I want them to be recognizable as Western first, just with some more futuristic additions. So I didn't go too crazy on this one. Just a few little elements here and there to raise the question, like, why does this exist? Why is it like this? I asked my patrons what I should add to the top of this building to make it a little bit more interesting, and one of the suggestions was a Gatling gun. I recently pulled a minigun off of that mech, that Swamp Walker, and decided this would actually be a much better place to use it. It's on top of a building that by nature needs to be more secure than you know, a lightweight mech. So I made a little machine gun placement on the top of this building. I turned it into a Gatling gun by adding a little crank on this side, as well as a top mounted magazine. I added a little trap door so that people could climb up onto the roof, and that was the building done. I did intentionally leave the sides bare. This is going to fit right up against the other buildings and I didn't want anything to get in the way. I then took the building outside and I primed it. And when that was dry, I started painting. The last thing to do was to paint the base with black 3.0, and I called it good. That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Once again, huge thank you and shout out to all of my patrons for your support of this channel. Really appreciate you guys. Have an awesome week, everyone. I'll see you next time.